I was the effects department supervisor at Tau Films. And so that included being in charge of our uh, different methodologies we use to achieve all of the effects, as well as the final artistic look, and then how we work together with all the different departments through all of our massive effect sequences that we have. So we had a few shots in the uh, Simu hand transformation that were really, really cool from just an effects artist perspective. We have this tiny black hand walking on the ground and it burrows underneath and then needs to become something large enough for Simu to, to ride on. And so this all happens in a snowy forest. And from an effects artist perspective, it's really cool because this is a frozen layer of snow on top of like, you know, heavy packed frozen soil. And so we're mixing different textures and trying to really find an interesting level of realism that doesn't necessarily occur to everybody when you just say like, oh, we're gonna make this thing come up out of the ground. Uh, judging by the shots and the way that the rest of the app are moving around the scene, we really saw it as more of like a, uh, uh, it was older wet snow that was kind of rigid and almost icy, but like whenever you break it, it really starts to, uh, deteriorate and look more like a, a powdery snow sub substance after that initial crack. So the mixing of that with all of like these big heavy clumps of sod that are getting ripped up, all while you're making it mix with this giant hand coming out and it rolls off of it and really sells the scale of something big and menacing. That That's the sort of thing that's really a lot of fun to work on in an effect situation. So in the final bridge battle sequence, we had a lot of different instances where we had multiple cuts of the same shot, um, all, all from different angles. And it would be more than I've really worked with in a, in a film before. Uh, like consistently, we would have about four or five shots of the same action, you know, just right on top of you. And it shows the entire sequence of events. Um, it's mainly when the bridge is uh, collapsing. There's two different stages where it collapses. Whenever the bridge is breaking in this sequence, we have you know, four or five, maybe even six different shots from different angles. So each uh, each of the two big bridge breaks. And so we had to find a way to unify all of these different takes from set from these different angles so that our big collapse looks like it's the same collapse, even if, if it's shot from different angles and the actors are doing something that's just a little bit different, you know, the action's just slightly modified in each of these. But uh, I think we were able to, you know, make a very nice, interesting, like old wooden bridge simulation with all of these splinters and stuff and still have it unified. So it, it is very believable, like you're getting a, a real rounded perspective of what's happening in the shot.